hello students welcome you all to my youtube channel and uh, let's continue with the chapter topographical map so students in this video today i'm going to discuss with you all is the four figure and the six figure grid reference okay now why do we use four figure and six figure grid reference what is the use of this okay, because it will help us the main you know the use of four figure and six figure grid reference is in order to locate a place okay or a location of a place it will give us the location of a place okay now in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the four figure and the six figure grid reference. Okay, so if you see in the topographical map, two different lines are used. One is the vertical lines, one is the vertical line. Okay, the colors are red in color, and one is the horizontal lines. Okay, now this vertical line is termed as Eastings okay, and the horizontal lines are termed as northings. Okay, now why it is known as eastings and why it is known as northings? Because one thing you have to remember is the eastings will always this line okay will always represent the place towards its east. For example, this one, this spot which is present over here, okay the this line will always refer towards its east for example another vertical line will also be here okay but the thing is that this line is not showing those place or this spot towards its east isn't it this spot is present towards the west of this line okay so we cannot say that that this spot is present towards the east of this line because it is present towards the west understood or not so this will always refer okay this line will always represent the place towards its east that is the reason it is known as eastings and another one is northings again okay? so it will always represent the place towards its north so for example again this is spot if we say now this line is representing this spot towards its north and then now in case in case if a spot is present over here okay if the spot was present over here supposingly that means this line is not showing this spot towards its north this line is showing this spot towards its south isn't it so we cannot say this line is the northings to this spot okay understood what i'm saying so that is the reason the name has been given as northings and the eastings okay eastings and the northings eastings will always refer the place towards its east and northings will always refer the place towards its north okay so it's very simple now in the map if you see it's very simple what's the complete video you will be easily able to do the uh, like you know the eastings uh, the four figure grid reference it's very simple so first we are going to start with the four figure grid reference so in this way in the map also okay the lines are drawn and uh, the lines are drawn and the values are also been given uh, to them okay and one thing you have to remember each of this grid no the difference between each of this grid is two centimeter okay so Supposing this is 20, 21, 22, then here it is 19, uh, 20, and 21. Okay, so now a uh, small place is there, or uh, you can say the settlement. A settlement is present, and the name of the settlement, let's consider Arganj. Okay, so name of this place is Arganj. Now we need to the question is give the four figure give the question is give the four figure grid reference of Arganj. This is the question. Okay. Now you need to find out where the Arganj is present. Now the thing is that you have already found out the place Arganj. Okay. Now one thing you have to remember is not the name which you will see, you will see is the 
settlement okay so where the settlement is present so first is always you have to write down the refer is the sticks so which line is showing the argus towards is or the argons towards its east that is 21 21 is showing argons towards its east so first 21 first always eastings now eastings will be followed by the northings okay and which line between this 21 and 22 it is present so in between which line okay or which line is showing this argons towards is north it's obviously 20 20 is showing this argons towards is north isn't it so that means the northings will be 20 so the four figure grid difference is 21 20 of what argons okay now sometimes sometimes again i'm telling you settlement will also be present in this way okay settlement will be present in this way in between the you know like in the cross section only it is present over here now what will be the four figure grid different supposingly the place name is mayur ganj okay now the place name which is is mayur ganj now you have already found out the mayur ganj this settlement is the mayur ganj now you have to give is the four figure grid difference now which grid you are supposed to refer isn't it now again a confusion is there it's also very simple okay now you need to find out which place is which line is showing it towards its east obviously 20 20 is showing towards its east isn't it? so here if you mention 20 okay and which line is showing towards its north it's also 19 as well as it's 20 also isn't it so here 20 and if you give 19 it will also be correct now if you give 20 20 that will also be correct now instead of 20 21 if you have given if you give 21 okay if you give 21 20 that is also correct and if you give 21 19 means this grid that will also be correct so 21 20 will be this grid because the settlement is located over here also 2019 2019 will be this grid because the part of the settlement is here in this grid also now 2020 means 20 and 20 this grid is also like the mayur guns is also present in this grid also isn't it? so all four grid if you give any number okay out of this four any number all will be correct okay so this is your four figure grid difference okay i hope it was clear and easy to understand also now the six figure grid difference now four figure one two three four four digit isn't it? now six figure one two three four five six six digits isn't it? so here the thing is that what we need to do is as i have already mentioned each of the grid is of two centimeter okay for example let us do this also each of the grid is 4 centimeters, 6, 8, and 10. Okay. Grid difference now while doing the six figure grid difference okay it's four figure now six figure while doing the six figure grid difference uh, generally the question what will be asked is with regard to the small kind of spot like you know the places okay for example the spot heights 218 okay or some sometimes of the uh, temple it will be asked sometimes the church about the church it will be asked sometimes the spot height sometimes the triangulate station okay so in that way the small small places which will be there on the map six figure grid difference will be asked about those places okay and a general or a, you are like a bigger okay uh, places up if it is present then the four figure grid difference will be asked understood so here let us uh, find the six figure grid difference of this spot or the spot height uh, 
six figure grid reference of this pot height 218 that is the question give us the six figure now as i have already mentioned each of the grid is of two centimeter now what has to be done is this two centimeter has to be divided into 10 equal parts okay 10 equal parts so when we divide it into 10 equal parts 2 centimeter divided by 10 so that means it will be 0.2 millimeter one okay one box or the one part will be 2.2 millimeter okay so uh, let us uh, have a very close look here 2 centimeter So this is your 0.2 millimeter, 1.2 point, 3.4 point, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yes, as I was saying that the 10 equal parts it has to be divided. The Eastings as well as the northings also. Okay, so here this is your suppose northings 20, 21, 22, 23, and this is your uh, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, so I have already successfully divided the northings into 10 equal parts. Now it's a time for eastings. So this is also exactly of 2 cm, 0.2 mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so I have successfully divided into 10 equal parts, this also. So for easier you can make even uh, intersection of the box also or the smaller grids also you can make but I'm not going to make it over here. Uh, you can just simply keep the you know the scale also in order to find the six figure grid difference also but for uh, your uh, you know that uh, in order to make you understand clearly I have divided into 10 equal parts okay. So the division is done it's completed now the real work starts so first find out the four figure grid difference so four figure grid difference of this is pot height is 17 give a small box then is 22 give a small box so here you need to fill in this blanks now how to fill in this blanks the question is there so here the 17 you have already seen okay so here this is the eastings so after that over here you will see is the subdivision of subdivision of northings so this is northings isn't it so here it will be subdivision of eastings remember that eastings subdivision of northings then this northings and the subdivision of eastings okay so here drop a line just below that spot height Drop a line just below the spot height. So just start counting it from the stings only. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So here 17, 4. And 22. Then after that again over here also just drop a line. Drop a line. So here it is falling in between not exactly on the spot. So here on the grid scale. Isn't it? So you need to do is exactly not falling in between so you have to take the lower one okay so here one two three four five and six so it is falling in between five and six so what one which one you will take is the lower one the sixth one you will take six one two three four five and six so sorry the fifth one you will take okay so here it will be 17 4 22 5 so the six figure grid difference of that spot height is 17 4 22 5 am i clear so in that way sometimes the table uh, suppose a triangulate station is also here is it so directly from the scale also you can do it 
and whenever a triangulate station or any kind of those places are there always refer the base of this triangulate station the base not the top okay you have to refer is the base any kind of of those kind of symbols if it is given sometimes a prominent tree will also be there okay so always refer the base sometimes the uh, temple will also be asked always the base okay so here in this spot the spot was very small so we could not take the you know the height or the bottom or the base also so here in case if the symbols are little bit bigger then always refer the base of the symbol so it's very in the directly with the help of a scale also you can do uh, so here as I am referring here the six figure four figure is first of all 16 then give a bracket then 21 then give a bracket so here 16 then the subdivision of the northing so subdivision of the northings so directly base and the center okay so what I'm taking the base and the center so here one then two then three then four and five so it is falling between four and five so it will be 16 4 21 and 21 now the subdivision of eastings so again refer the base so it exactly falls on the five here uh one two three four and five so 16 4 21 Make clear so the subdivision or the six figure grid difference of the triangulate station is 164215. Okay, so in this way you can easily find a four figure grid difference as well as the six figure grid difference also. So I hope students I was able to make it clear and it is very uh, you know easy. Uh, to find out the six figure the six figure and the four figure grid reference and uh, if you practice it uh, properly you will be able to uh, easily able to score it in the board exam also